while on telly you use so many problems that you have faced on your gadget like iPhone and iPad. We got an iPad Pro 10.5 with no charging issues. Customer tell us that after the update to the iOS 15, such problem happened. They strength charging issues after inserting the charger, no any charging sign. But if you press the power switch, charging is on, but don't take any charging ampere. If you press power, take a small charging ampere like 0.4 mA. Welcome to the channel TGSM Solution. Let's go forward to fix the problem. Remove LCD carefully. Don't make force while removing LCD from frame. Remove all FPC carefully. While removing PCB from frame, don't use any force. May bend or broke PCB. So handle with care. The very first you have to look at is the charging connector issues. But in my case, charging connector looks normal. In most of the cases, the charging connector was faulty. While pressing the power switch takes some ampere means charging connector was good. Let's find out the track from the charging connector. The voltage first goes through the coil to the charging control IC and to power IC. In most of cases, this fault was from tristor. So let's find the test pin for tristor. Let's look at the back side. You can see the test point mark on the red circle. Check this, then you can easily find whether the transistor was faulty or not. How to find whether a transistor was faulty or not by the test point that I mentioned in the video that you can find in the below description. Let's remove transistor, temperature 320 and airflow 80. All pin must be flat and signed.
the tristar you need on iPad is not easy to find, so you have to search for compatible. The compatible transistor in my case is the transistor of iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Put the transistor in the correct position. Cool down PCB for 5 minutes. Let's check whether the problem was fixed or not. After inserting the charger, charging indication was shown. Let's check whether the problem was fixed or not. After inserting the charger, the charging indication was shown. And after a few minutes, the iPad was powered on, means the charging related issues were fixed. Hope this will help you to fix your staff, share your experience and how you solve your issues. If you get a little bit of value from this, then subscribe to our channel DGSM Solution and see you in the next video. Stay connected.